Hello and welcome to a, a brand new vlog here on Coaster Crazy, new video for 2021 season and um, yeah it's got to be an interesting one today you probably saw from the brand new intro that me and Martin made thanks to Martin and his fantastic uh, uh, Apple MacBook um, I was yeah so I hope you, <laughs> yeah Apple Apple yeah Apple Mac uh, but yeah I hope you enjoyed the brand new intro uh, that we've uh, just added to the channel yeah so today is uh, Easter Sunday happy Easter to everyone I've got me a uh, generic hot drink and uh, it's cold enough to uh, stamp your feet like uh, Adam the Wee would say uh, but uh, yeah we're at St Pancras station here in London and it's absolutely stunning really really pretty never been here before we're actually getting a train to Margate today well saying that you probably knew that from the title and I'm about to be run over <laughs> by that car there yeah so we're off to Margate today uh, we're still in this sort of partial lockdown but we can now travel we can now meet up with people as well which is a good thing a uh, one house yeah one house you should all know the rules by now I shouldn't have to keep repeating what the rules are but yeah you gotta have to wear your mask indoors that's where we're outside at the minute enjoy my uh, hot beverage oh the, yeah we'll see that in a minute uh, so we're here with the train geeks, Martin and Charlotte. You all right, Charlotte? Feels weird being on camera. It does feel <laughs> weird. I'm actually like, yeah, I don't know how to actually do the vlog. But uh, yeah, St Pancras, you saw some shots uh, just before of coming on the underground. We started at West Rice, Rice Lip. Uh, always handy having these here to remind me where, where we've been and what we're doing um, so yeah we're going to Margate today I've got the drone in the bag hope you've enjoyed the drone footage I just want to say I have had a lot of comments of people saying I can't do this and I can't do that I can do this and I can do that because I've got the the, the, uh, the IDs and stuff and do one yeah do one if you don't like it do one <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, all the drone police can uh, can do one. But anyway, so we're at St Pancras today uh, in London, an absolutely stunning building. Uh, get the mask on, and we'll see you inside. You said a second ago, you you can see from the title, you're not doing titles anymore. Not doing titles, yeah, yeah. No, no, the name of the video though. It's the name of the video. The title of the video. The title yeah. of the video. Yeah, there you go. So we'll get inside. You can see some of the trains in there. We're going on a. I don't know the number, but it's a dr a what? A Hitachi three oh five. Three nine five. Three nine five. Sorry, that noisy car. Three nine five javelin, a high speed one train, uh, all the way to Margate. So I'll, I'll stick my coffee down on this sign here. Stick my mask on. I'll see you in a minute. No, it's got the mask on as well now. What a beautiful station, this is really, really nice. So this is home to the uh, Eurostar as well. Wow. Can't believe I've never been in here before. Can I? Can I? Look at Martin. Yeah, really, really nice. So there's your Eurostars just over there. Which can you can now go all the way to Amsterdam on, which is something we'll probably do in the future. Always want to go to Amsterdam. This massive statue here. Absolutely stunning. Really nice. It's nice how you can just walk in as well. If you are a, a train geek, then you can just walk straight in, as you just saw there, and then you can have a look at the trains. Very quiet though. I'll get you some footage of the trains as well. Yes, so obviously you probably know or are aware. That the theme parks and fun fairs are reopening from the 12th of April. I was actually got to book a week off and do a few things, but I didn't really want to waste me my holiday from work. Um, so we're going to Poulton's Park on the on the 18th of April. Um, I know a lot of people will be going to like Alton Towers and Blackpool on the 12th, but as it's during the week, 
I'll be at work so I'm gonna have to wait for the weekend for that but yeah looking forward to getting back into it I'm a bit nervous with vlogging again if I'm honest like a lot of other channels have been because it's uh, it's been so long for not actually doing this I don't know I just don't want to I just don't want to mess it up I want it to be you mess it up anyway I know <laughs> that's what you do. and that's what that's my style it wouldn't be coasted crazy if it didn't mess it up so yeah I've got the max lens mod on as well Oop. so I hope the footage is that of that is really good because basically I can sort of turn my arm around and it should be completely stable um, looking forward to using it on rides so when you go upside down it should all be completely still it's like a gimbal effect so I've got a horizon lock on it which is when I first bought the camera or the GoPro 9 I put horizon lock on thinking that was the feature no you've got to have this max lens for it as well so it's very nice in here beautiful station I'd give you some more information and stuff like when it opened and that I just have no idea I'd love to look on Google here's your departure area for the Eurostar very nice so yeah, we'll get you some more footage uh, on the train, the javelin, I'm looking forward to that. Have you been on the javelin before yes, mine? I yes I have. Yeah, it's, it's been on a lot of trains. We went to Margate on it uh, a couple of years ago. Oh, did he? Yeah. Cool, he's already been to Margate on it. But uh, yeah, I shall see you when we get a bit closer to the time when we get onto the train. Looking forward to, the, to today. It's, it's nice to be back out of the house again and actually be able to travel to places within restrictions as well you can't be like going all over the place you've still got to try and keep it to a minimum as well and uh yeah i haven't had any of me nice coffee yet so i'll see you in a minute Right, so we've just come through the uh, turnstile there, got tickets online, are about £30 around that return. So here we go, so we're going to, uh, to Margate. So basically we're going to Margate for a little walk around, it's not much open at all, uh, if anything at all. Uh, we'll probably get some fish and chips or something. And we're going to have a look at Dreamland as well which unfortunately was closed all of last season. We're not sure if it's opening again this season. Um, so I've got the drone, I'll take it up, get some shots of uh, Dreamland. But well, here's the train, it's really, really nice. Hitachi, absolutely stunning train. Javelin. Yeah, the fastest train in the UK can reach speeds of up to 140 mile an hour. Very nice indeed is that. So yeah, we're leaving in about, I don't know, half an hour or something like that. Get some shots of the train. I'll see you when we get into uh, to Margate. So there we go, we're in uh, Margate now. That was an amazing train journey was that. Uh, just over an hour to get here uh, from St Pancras in London. And at one point we actually hit 143 miles an hour. So yes, that is 
the fastest operating train in the UK other than the Eurostar but the Eurostar doesn't actually stop in the UK uh, it goes through straight to France so yeah got the, uh, the tickets as well so we've got to sort that out uh, the gate yeah very good just notice we've just gone past uh, Dreamland as well and uh, yeah <laughs> pinball x is in there they've taken it down so that's very interesting to see i don't know where that's going all right so we're uh, out at the station now as you can see we're walking past the iconic Dreamland building here which was home to the the cinema um, we're still unsure of to whether this is actually getting redone because uh, there, there was a, a schedule for Dreamland um, like different phases to it you know when we first came all them years ago now when the park did reopen there was all these different phases and then every time we'd been back to Dreamland it was different they added new rides uh, re-landscaped it and um, the actual town of Margate itself won an award for the best seaside town in the UK not so long ago but now you walk around here now and you know I know it's not been great with the pandemic and the lockdown and stuff and a lot of the businesses have been closed but it's you know it's still not as nice to see you know all these boarded up areas and got all this up here as well like i said we'll have a walk around into dreamland itself or the perimeter of dreamland which is just over there i'll get the drone out get some drone nice shots above it probably take it over the beach as well uh, like i said about the rules and things the only thing you obviously can't do with flying a drone or one that i've got is um the ggi mini, mini 2 anything over the 250 weight limit um, even for mine you can't go over crowds or big crowds which is like big gatherings and stuff you can actually fly over uninvolved people and residential areas so and I've seen a lot of people saying oh you can and can't do this but just you know they change the rules as long as you've got your IDs and your insurance and stuff then you're all right I suppose and don't be silly with it we are uh, just looking around now there's nothing open really, there's a little ice cream shop there open, all the arcades are closed, your weather spoon's closed, a lot of graffiti on everything. It's a nice area is my guy, I quite like it. A really nice beach just there. I think we're looking for a fish and chip shop because it's lunchtime now. Like I said it took over an hour to get here, so it's just one o'clock now where you heard the the clock going off there. You've got some more ice cream stalls just here donuts and things so yeah i'm looking forward to getting back into actually vlogging something of interest i.e parks we're doing a lot of fun fairs again this year uh, again i hope you enjoyed the new title or the new intro that we've uh, that we've done it's something pretty basic but i just thought it was about time that i added something like that which shows what we do if you are new to the channel please go and subscribe and the other thing is as well i've got the camera rolling the channel's been going just over five years now which is amazing and uh yeah just thank you to everyone who has come over and subscribed so we'll find something to eat and i'll show you in a minute when we find something interesting Right, so we've now walked down this um, road here, or this pathway, to get to the back of the park. Can't really go any further than this. But as you can see, Pinball X there is in pieces. So I don't really know what's happening with it at the moment, but it's not looking promising. What a shame. Right, so we just had something to eat, and as you saw, we went to the back of Dreamland, uh, where the car park is. 
and uh, I'll just get this in a minute anyway when he drives past but uh, yeah we couldn't really get any closer to it I'll, I'll, I'll get the drone up when we go back towards the train station which is over there and we'll stand on the car park but yeah this is amazing check this out Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. I do like my cars. Nice Lamborghini. Well, yeah, we saw uh, from the footage, I just uh, got a little bit of, of a clip of, uh, Pinball X has been taken down, uh, and we found out that it's actually going to Flamingo Park in Hastings, which I think might be all right for that park. Yeah, what do you reckon? Huge, it will, a lot massive. Park. Yeah, such a small little park, isn't it's it? It's a cute little it's park. New, yeah. Yeah. new cred yeah, for new people cred. that haven't been on it. So. Oh, no, uh, Use, yeah, <laughs> don't add it down yet. Don't do lost, relocations. We've already lost the credit over Christmas oh, because yeah. we worked out the wrong bloody Hastings caterpillars. Is, coming, is Hastings in Kent? Uh, I think yeah. so. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. So it's still the same county. So yeah, same county, county, not a new cred. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to walk down onto the beach uh, and I'll get a bit of beach footage with the drone. I'll probably just take it up and down. There's no massive crowd, so you're all right to fly around here. Um, we'll have another little bit of a walk around and then we'll go on to the car park Make like sure I said car park oh yeah I've got yeah 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 I've got my high vis yeah 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 hard yeah, heart yeah, yeah, high vis on and everything have you told <laughs> people out the boats no no I told them no on the boats down there need to know oh, the he, he, he wants to see your I'll license tell you what you better stay away and he's the train driver now as well train driver now yeah yeah definitely and then we'll like I said then we'll go on to the car park back there and Get the drone over for uh, Dreamland. So uh, yeah, it's a very nice day though. There's what? a COVID testing centre. Oh, in the there car is. Park. Make sure they know you're. Oh yeah, yeah. Drone. COVID testing centre. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, drone footage there, just took it around the beach for a bit, just took it over the park as well. Probably take it over when we go over to the car park, get a little bit more footage, uh, stick it in as a separate video on the uh, on the drone uh, the playlist that I've added. Hope you enjoy the drone stuff anyway, it's something totally different. I know some of the Funfair channels have uh, been using drones as well to get some really nice footage and it's something that I'm hoping to do as well. I'll be very find it very hard to get a lot of uh, theme park footage um, especially like from the peri perimeters and stuff but seaside amusement parks and things like that should be okay we have beautiful beach here in Margate it really is stunning just hope you've enjoyed this uh, vlog today it's great to be back 
and I can't wait to share some more adventures with you. So I've just find, found my ideal place that I want to live. Roller coaster house. Right, so we've come into the uh, multi-storey car park now. Uh, just see over, well, I'll, I'll show you with my hand. Uh, see the fence in there? Uh, well, that's where they had the scare event, which was amazing, really good scare event uh, that we did oh, two years ago now. It was so good. In fact, it might have been a bit more, a bit more around this section, but it was down here. This is the uh, like the main car park for it. So we'll be walking up here and get the drone out again, get some more aerial footage of Dreamland. Regards of it opening, reopening this year, I've no idea. We, we just we just don't know at the moment. Obviously, I'll keep you posted if I know anything. But it was closed all of last year, didn't open up at all. Very, very sad. Just look at this car park up here. It's crazy. Such a huge area. You get some great views. Such a shame if anything does happen to it. You know, you've got a lot of people that will go, oh, it's such a shame I never visited, but why didn't you come and visit it? It's a really good park. It's got the UK's oldest wooden roller coaster, the Scenic Railway, which opened in 1921. They added a load of brand new Zampula rides a couple of years ago, it was like 10 of them. It's great, really good atmosphere to it, but a lot of it's all gone. That was the speedway or the arc, just down here. Yeah, such a shame. Right, let's get to the skies. So there you go, hope you enjoyed the uh, the footage there uh, of Dreamland in Margate. Yeah, we're, uh, we're heading back to the train station in a minute. Our train back to uh, London St Pancras is at um, half three, which is about half an hour. But it's, it's long enough to spend here. There isn't a great deal to do in Margate, especially when we've just come out of the lockdown. Shops and things and businesses are still closed, apart from like the fish and chip shops and the ice cream parlours, that sort of thing. But yeah, if you ever come to 
Margate. This is the uh, the car park that you want to park on. It's a lot cheaper than the uh, council car park, which is over there. I just hope they can manage to get open again this year. Uh, I find it funny that there's actually a, a Facebook group um, dedicated to Dreamland, and it, I, th I think the comments and some of the stuff in there is quite funny, actually, with what what you've been saying um, that. You know, it'd be nice to get like um, some themed areas and things, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> it's it's not going to happen. But uh, yeah, so um, on the on the 18th, we're going to uh, Poulton's Park. Um, yeah, I'll get some more footage as we're going back on the train. But um, I hope you've enjoyed this one. It's good to be back uh, out doing some vlogging. Um, take time to get used to it actually holding the camera and actually talking a load of nonsense again but no i hope you've enjoyed the footage today there'll be separate videos for what i've done today um for the for the drone as well for the flyover so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this one i say i get a bit more footage when we're going back towards the train but uh that's it from me i think um uh, it's just nice to get out in the sun beautiful weather today uh, it's still a bit chilly, it's like 10 degrees, but... Um, yeah, it was 21 the other day. 21, I couldn't believe it, yeah. It's snow on Monday. <laughs> it's, yeah, well, apparently so. It's supposed to snow on Monday, um, but it's, I don't think it is. But uh, no, I hope you've enjoyed the footage from the uh, Max Lens mod as well. I mean, it looks pretty cool from what I've seen filming. Uh, it should be in 4K as well. I hopefully got the settings right on it, because you know what it was like when I first got it. I, I, I just couldn't get to grips with it. But uh, now I've got the uh, drone, took it up to the side of the building up here and that. It's nice, I mean there's a couple more things we could do actually do in Margate while we're here. There's that second hand shop that I've got a load of signs and things. But I think that would probably take us about 10-15 minutes to walk there and we've got to get the train in, in half an hour exactly from now. So we'll, we'll hang around the train station and get back on the, uh, the beautiful high speed train back to St Pancras. And uh, yeah, it's a good, it's a good journey, isn't it? We got to 143 at one point. It'd be better this time because we'll be going slow first, and then we'll be going yeah. fast. When you started coming from London, you're going yeah. fast. It's then boring when you're going. Fast. I know. It was really weird. We were going 143, and then it slowed right down to about 100, 70, 70 or something. Yeah. We were doing about 20. It's weird. <laughs> but if you like your trains, it's a good one to do. Like I said, the ticket to come here return was around 30 pounds. So not too bad at all took about just over an hour seven, pounds seven yeah well you work for the trains so uh, mates Green rates and charlotte. and charlotte as well yeah well you can get mates rates after six months remember? yeah don't know what we're doing tomorrow yet uh it's a bank holiday monday tomorrow i've no idea what we're doing really i've not well, planned anything weeks, so yeah so some weeks. new creds coming up uh uh, yeah, like I said, we haven't really planned anything. We haven't got anything planned regards holidays as such because we don't know if we can travel again. It's just a bit... It's just a bit of a confusion with everyone at the moment. People are wanting to get back out there. And the amount of people going to Blackpool Pleasure Beach on the 12th is... is unbelievable. Poland's is sold out. So, Poland's is sold out for the 12th, yeah. yeah. Like I said, I was going to look into going, but I just didn't want to take the time off work if I'm honest um, I'd rather wait and go at like the weekend we will book some time off obviously if we can't travel abroad anywhere we'll, we'll probably go to Scotland for a week or something like that I don't know it's just uh, I don't really know what's going on at the minute I've been so busy with work uh, now that's starting to slow down I've got the weekends off and things like that it's just nice to hang around with mine and Charlotte and go to these random places I said it's been good to come to Margate uh, via the high speed train which is signposted up there, I don't know if you can see it because the sun's in the way eh? You can see it on the other side On the other side There you go High speed train, there's your map of Margate So yeah, it's nice to come and see uh, Dreamland as well That's basically what we've come for, come for a nice day out Nice and sunny yeah um go and have a look at dreamland as well like i said i'll keep you posted with what's going on i didn't really know anything about pinball x going and then found out that the rest of it's at um, flamingo park in hastings so hmm interesting 
to say that was a brand new ride for the park so if you've not been on it get yourself to hastings um yeah they've got a good ghost train there haven't they yeah. some funicular yeah, railways and things hastings is it's all right it's a nice little we place this hastings time. Time we've gone, we've just nipped in yeah it's just a quick visit yeah pier, isn't there's not enough on the pier around. Think, yeah, there's, there's, there's a, a few railway, things to do. Cool. Yeah, funicular which takes you up to the yeah. castle, I think. I'll tell you what I have done. I have actually put on, um, I've got a note on my phone. I've put down like a list of places that we want to visit this year as well, if we can. Not just all theme parks, but attractions as well. Alton Towers, yeah. The yeah Go to the uh, garden centre. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. There are four new rides coming to Alton Towers, which we actually knew about this months ago. Yeah. But yeah, there's a Waltzer, Super Trooper, Jumper Jumper, which I've already been on. The POV is on the channel. We did it Hull. Sorry, Goose, not Goose Fair. I ain't rushing to go on Nah, this is... I'm sorry, but they, they should stay in the fun fair, not Yeah, I mean, it'd be interesting to see what people think about the new fun fair rides. But <laughs> yeah, if the two hour queues, I ain't, I ain't going on them. But yeah, we're at the train station now. Time to get the mask back on. But well, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video today. Um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for next time I upload another video, whenever that may be. I have no idea. We don't, like I said, we don't really plan it. This was planned a couple of weeks ago. But uh, I, don't, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know what we're doing. Again, it's got to be the same sort of situation. Just, just uh, play by ear and something pops up. Click on the button and watch it, you know. That's how it happens. But yeah, I hope you enjoy this one. I'll see you later. Bye for now.